Oh, Jesus, save me today. I've come this far. I've come this far. Seriously, going home like this won't be, won't be fair. It wouldn't be okay for me. It wouldn't be cool at all for me. Down to six. Oh God, please. I want to remain. Help me. Keep on praying. I want God to help me. Oh Lord, I want you to help me. I don't know how to sing, but I have to sing. I'm working hard. My payoff might not. I have to face reality sometimes. But I still remain positive. I can't straight. I'll catch up my time. I cannot be eliminated. <laughs> Cut. The day before the show, so starting uh, the, we will soon start setting up, and uh, in the afternoon we will have rehearsals. So right now we are training the girls and also the guys that joined from the university on their speech and how to present themselves and how to talk in front of uh, uh, the big public that we are going to have tomorrow. Val is coming, yeah, to prepare you for the presentation. The four girls that will remain, that we, when we will call you on stage, we will call you on stage alone, so one, 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 one. Yeah. You will have to introduce yourself, to talk about the boot camp, give two different quotes of people that you've met that have impressed you, and what has impressed you the most. Hi everyone, I am Mary Okubo from Delta State. I am 21 years old. Now, no matter how bad your background may be, no matter how poor you may be, it can't stop your dream. Just keep on dreaming and dream big. Oh, my time is up. <sighs> okay, let me let me do it again. <clears throat> Hello everyone. My name is Mary Akubar. I'm 21 years old from the department of for, oh Jesus, sorry. This success positive success success successful positive change success it was an opportunity to meet the great people who contributed to the success story okay first of all we're going to go for the um, presentation class with Val and after that the ultimate elimination two people must go and four we will remain <laughs> You have about one to one and a half minutes to speak, uh, one by one tomorrow as a challenge. People will actually judge you on your performance as one of the different challenges with singing, with dancing, with uh, modeling and presenting. Whenever I'm talking to her, even if you make a mistake, she doesn't like, oh, what is wrong with you? Like most people will do, like some other people will do. She takes the time to explain to you, tell you, okay, this is where you're going wrong, this is where you're doing wrong, this is how you should do it, this is how I think you should do it. If you do it this way, I think it would be a lot better. So that's why I like her. During the class of Maje, it taught me that water, to take water, vegetable and fruit is actually important to our health and it will give us good health in our life. Good day, everyone. Come on, I'm not getting a response from the house. Hello, everyone. Okay. Actually, I was scouted from the University of Port Harcourt and man, here at the boot camp, it's been a bomb. My Tafo said something. He said, your journey and not your background determines where you will be in future. So the choices you make, the decisions you take, good and bad, those are what will get you to where you need to be in future. First, a word from Hasfa Tabiola. She said, whatever you do in life, your integrity should be the most important thing. And that really touched me 
because most of the times I do things, we do things without minding the consequences of those things we do, whether it's going to tarnish our reputation or our image. But this word has actually taught me that whatever I'm doing, I should have it at the back of my mind that my integrity should be established in whatever I do. Why I picked this was because we all want to be successful. And if we get to look at it, most successful people, they have been rejected at one, at one point in their life and they didn't just stop there, it made them to push more, to have this drive for more of their dreams. And that's what I really want to do. And again, something Ike said really touched me. He said, um, to get what others won't have in life tomorrow, you have to do what others won't do today. So that means you have to push hard, you have to work hard. When others are busy just staying back and sitting around and doing nothing, you have to work hard, you have to know that tomorrow, that the future is great, that the future is bright. And for you to make it even brighter, you have to work hard. Thank you. Look at these rappers, so they want to have a lot of joy, they want to beat them. They call me free because I like to speed on this pussy, so I eat them. And they just stick at the soul, what the hell is Kanye when you need them? I think that's in my rap thing. Yeah, me, me, it's my thought to rap. You feeling me? You feel my swats? I'm David Blaine's, now I'm chilling now. With that dream, we're your biggest team. Oh. <laughs> that was good, that was good. That was, that good. was good, right? Hey, sleepyhead. <laughs> I think you should try something. <laughs> say something. Rap. Rap. Come on, do something. I can't sing. I don't, I don't have any talent. You don't have any talent? I'm just there. You're just there. Yes. Bye. I think. <laughs> Okay, girls, uh, this is the time for the fourth uh, and last elimination. We needed to make a decision, and we made it based on dancing, modeling, fitness. FCMB made their own scoring at your last uh, uh, visit uh, for the FCMB challenge, uh, and the social media. Okay, Fioma, and you got a total score that got you to the finale. Deborah, we want to really praise your hard work. You always create a good impression in people, from the modeling teacher, from the people that surround you. However, your social media is inconsistent and has a lack of content. Your dance is not impressive and not consistent. Your modeling is not very good. In FCMB, of course, you come across as a very genuine and authentic person, but your total score was the lowest. You, know, you didn't make it to the finale. But I hope you enjoy, you made it this far. You did really change, you really improved. And I can totally see you were enjoying, you were really trying hard. That's why even in the last elimination, the one before this one, we decided to say, you know what, she needs to go forward, she deserves it. But at this point, we really we needed to look at uh, the scores. But thank you so much, you are really wonderful. <laughs> Mary, you need to come out more. We've seen a lot of improvement, especially in your presentation. Got you to the final. <laughs> but, you really need to work on your modeling. You really need to work on it. Oh, that's that cry. You made me cry. Wait. <laughs> Oninia, your dancing is brilliant, vibrant, and bold. Your modeling is consistent, and your fitness is brilliant. You're going to the finale. <laughs> Linus Precious. You really have to work on your modeling. But your dance is impressive and has improved. Your fitness is good. You're one of the four finalists. <laughs> A hard <laughs> Chiso, 
There was a lot of talk about you. Your model is, as I said, is incredible, but you did not make it. Your score was not high enough. And I hope you enjoy what you've done. And I hope you can really imbibe it. Uh, it's key for success. And as Ladi Balogun said, I'm sure that the most successful person here is not the one that will win this competition. It's been fun, it's been challenging, it's been educative. Uh, I'm no more part of the whole project. I'll be going home tomorrow, so... It's kind of hard, I'm kind of sad a little bit, but... There's nothing I can do about it, so... Failure is the biggest teacher. Is it not? And we are all winners, is it not? You go back home, you learn more than before, no? Okay. Just let me met. I can see the same person, just that I have, um, I got more educative. Yeah, so I'm still the same person you met in Papa but I got more, I got things from here, I got small things in my head. Uh, what I learned from Katrina was being simple, being you. Uh, you should like learn from the things around you, you should just know what you want, set your mind on your goal and then you get it done. That's what I learned from but you enjoy it, no? You ever been to a hotel like the Fada Balas? Eh? Have you ever learned how to dance like these days? Eh? When I need to go back to school, because I have loads of assignments to do, so I need to go and finish everything in school, and then I'll think about something after that. I'm very proud of you. Huh? You got yourself this far. I'm telling you, even in Abuja, I'm not sure if I'm bringing this girl. Do you remember what I was to tell you? You're so masculine. And, and despite all the odds, you made it to the final elimination. This is the Deborah that came in here with this low self-esteem. Timid and not being able to express herself. But now I'm going out knowing that my limitations while coming here is my starting point. So going out there, I think I... I'm awake now. I'm awake. Some families, the the girl, the a girl child there is not being regarded as much as the boy. Because I think a lot of families, uh, the girls are being molested sexually. Understand? They go through abuses, and this is intrafamilial sexual abuse. It's within the family. You get. And then when you get to tell parents, they'll be like, they want to conceal it. They want to see it as, as a family issue. This is something, when they take it outside, it's not going, people will hear about it and then maybe their, their image will be tarnished or something like that. But they really need to understand it. They have to start speaking out. People need to talk about these things because if you don't talk about it, other parents, some parents won't even believe their girl child, uh, their children when they tell them, look at what's happening, look at what has happened to me. I never thought about this until I came to camp here, until I heard Hafsa Tabiola saying, we have to stand up, you have to stop hiding. When she said, you have to stop hiding, that was when it struck me. Like, I've been hiding, I've been keeping a lot of things, and these are things that people, like on, on radio sometimes, I'll hear, I'll, someone will call and say that, um, like, an uncle, a girl was molested by her uncle. And then some people will call on and say it's a lie, that some, something like that can happen. But it do happen, you get So I think it's, it's time that I, 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 I stand up and, and, and I tell the story and I get to create an awareness. So I plan to start via social media first. I have to open a website or I have to, I have to open some, um, I have to go on social media and create the awareness first and then from there, and get some girls involved. I know a lot of people have stories, but they won't want to say it. They're like sisters to me right now. Like, we are so used to each other. I can't even believe it's just, it's not even up to two weeks. Oh, we're so used to each other that, ah, I'm gonna miss them and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep in touch with them for sure. I'm gonna keep in touch with them, all of them, all, all of them.